Tiny Giant Farm. Um, whole property is about an acre. We've got a third of an acre in production. We've got uh, one, two, three, four, six different blocks of eight beds. They're all on 30-inch uh, spacing. They're all 50-foot long, 18-inch um, pathways. So we use kind of the market garden setup. Uh, we grow roughly 25 to 30 different crops in successions all year, mostly salad greens, uh, root crops, and then we have two high tunnels that we do cherry tomatoes and uh, heirloom tomatoes in. So here we've got some spinach successions. That's the spinach I just harvested this week. And uh, right now the fields are pretty full with, with basically the salads for the rest of the year. Uh, we try and go all the way until the week before Christmas with the salad greens. So we plant early. Everything's already planted. That's going to be planted for the whole year. Um, in another couple weeks, the whole whole farm will be covered in row cover. Anything that can be. Over here we've got kale that we planted all the way back in end of March, and we let it go all the way until Christmas. Uh, we use wobbler sprinklers for every block. Just two sprinklers covers each each block, which is really nice. Keeps it simple. Use the paper pot transplanter for a lot of things, like this uh, salanova lettuce. That kohlrabi's all paper pot transplanted. It works really, really, really well for most most of our transplants. Uh, and here we've got so we've got two 50-foot caterpillar tunnels and growing four or five different varieties of cherry tomatoes in here. They're almost done for the year. Next week is their last week. So they're looking a little bit unkempt. We stopped pruning three or four weeks ago. But we've actually had probably our best cherry tomato year ever. They're doing really good this year. And here we've got our sad looking heirloom tomatoes uh, limping through to the end of the year. But it looks like we're going to get another decent harvest out of them before, before we pull them in a week or two. And then, then we'll seed spinach into both of these tunnels for the winter. Uh, we'll start harvesting that probably around Valentine's Day. Um, in the tunnels, we use these clipper systems on the poles for the trellising. It's really nice. They slide up and down instead of bothering with the strings. More of the same, really. Uh, Arugula secessions, those are the last carrot crop of the year. Some uh, bok choy is being harvested, spring mix. Uh, the last radishes of the year, new spinach. Yeah.